I've never seen this store open. Manana, manana. There's some cool gear in this shop. Unfortunately, it closed down last month. This is a heavy security door. I've seen sad old men standing here watching these for hours. Monster trucks again? Isn't there anything else to watch? Lots of mindless stuff to make watching TV more bearable. Sorry, I don't buy it. I wonder what's through there. Maybe a way to reach that substation. They're doing a large promotion on Pi TV right now. Hello, nice day. It's a terrible day. Oh, just trying to be friendly. Well, go and be friendly somewhere else. Can I buy one of your TVs, please? If you must. You don't seem very motivated, considering it's your job. What's that got to do with it? A pleasant sales manner makes a happy customer. Why do I care about happy customers? So they'll come into your dumb store again. No one ever buys a second TV. Suit yourself. Are you going to sell me one or not? Only if you show me your cash. Ah! Can I buy one of your TVs, please? If you must. You don't seem very motivated, considering it's your job. What's that got to do with it? A pleasant sales manner makes a happy customer. Why do I care about happy customers? So they'll come into your dumb store again. No one ever buys a second TV. Suit yourself. Are you going to sell me one or not? Only if you show me your cash. Ah! I need to inspect your premises. What for? That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Well, you might have, um, wire wraps. Say what? Wire wraps. They're deadly, you know. They chew cables. If one of them took a liking to your shop, before you know it, all these TVs could be useless. They're pretty useless now. Go away and let me watch TV. I may be back later. Don't hold your breath. Huh. That's a mighty small TV. I don't really need one, but it seems like a good bargain. Hello, nice day. It's a terrible day. Oh, just trying to be friendly. Well, go and be friendly somewhere else. Do you have a remote for this TV so I can try it out? Why? It works. Can't you see that? But I want to try the other channels. What for? Oh, never mind. Wait here. I'll go and find it. What's this here for? Easy. I can reach that hatch now. Down we go. I'm not tall enough to reach it. Hey, 
I think this is the TV shop a long time ago. Well, I guess every attic has to have a crate. It's a sturdy carpenter's mallet, ideal for flattening stuff. No thanks. I got it. Lovely balanced mallet. They're far too big to carry around. I might be tempted if they actually contain something of use. I think this is a really ancient TV set. Wow, weren't they primitive in those days? I wonder what this is. I don't have any idea. Ah, oh, the poor little thing. Someone strung him up and left him to die. Ah, uh, let him down. Anyway, this wire may come in handy later. I'll give him a big hug. Ah, uh, oh, his eyes just fell out. Gruesome. I bet there's something useful in here. It won't budge. I have it. This must be some kind of turbine or generator. Okay, I can unscrew it. I don't really know what to do with it. I don't really know what to do with it. What on earth made this hole? Looks like an explosion. This looks like an important control panel. Aha! A control box. Let's take a look. This is where the mood magnet circuits are fed from the turbine. My work begins here. Short circuiting, that was easy. Okay, the wire's firmly attached. Now I need to connect it to a power source. Shouldn't be difficult in a power station. Hmm, it doesn't seem to have done anything. I don't think that would do any good. Oh, nothing happened. What a letdown.
No wonder it's stuffy in here. The fan's not working. I don't think that would do any good. I don't think that would do any good. Excellent! The circuit board has power now, and my work is nearly done. What goes in here? Hey, these roll nicely into this coin slot. Whoa! Action! Wow! We have power! All oh, systems go! Hey, what's happening? Let me out! Oh man, this just isn't my day. All that's left of the TV shop. Oops! I've got it now. It's locked but I can hear a couple of norms inside. You can catch all sorts of diseases doing that. Would you believe me if I said it was locked? What am I supposed to do with it? It just doesn't want to open. The plank has gone right through the grill. I expect the engine has been trashed. What am I supposed to do with it? What am I supposed to do with it? What am I supposed to do with it? When a norm says, keep out, he means it. I'll stay this side of the barrier. Yeah, I could connect this pipe between the wall vent and the truck air intake.
I don't believe it, Norm. Have you been eating bean brunch foods again? I haven't, man. I was keeping quiet. I didn't want to bring it up. There's little point in causing aggravation when we're locked together in this truck all day. Now please be quiet and try to control your emissions. It was not me, Norm. Leader Paul will hear of this disgusting incident if his nose doesn't detect it first, that is. You did! I didn't, man! Why not just come clean, eh? You've got a backside like the top of a brown sauce bottle, you. You can talk! Smells like a sewer in here. Oh! Oh, no! I think I'm gonna spew! Please be quiet, old revered colleague. If it gets much worse, I might know. Oh, that's it. I can't hold back any longer. Sorry, mate, but you've asked for this. <laughs> oh, you've boffed on me uniform, man! <laughs> Hey, Di, great to see you. How are you? A bit shaky, son. That sure was a foul smell you subjected me to. Near knocked me clean out. I'm sorry, old friend. Let's go before other norms arrive. Hi, everyone. I bumped into an old friend. Di, you're back. How are you feeling? I just want to sleep. No time for that. Go and help Brian with his measurements. I believe he's on his way to the ordinary outpost. You sure are a hard taskmaster, Miss Heather. See you all later. What's with the long faces? I got Di out. We all accomplished our mission. Saul's a little downhearted. Blowing up the mood transfer substations hasn't had the expected or desired effect. Where are Bri and Di? They've gone to take a few measurements for our next objective. So exactly what happened? We all did our jobs, right? Destroying the mood pumping stations must have made some difference. There is no discernible difference. Everything seems pretty much as it was before. Where do we go from here then? Do we just give up? Saw has another theory. It concerns the Pollutatron, that huge smoke-belching structure you passed on the roof of the ordinary outpost just before our beloved founder Di gave his life for our cause. What about it? We must somehow gather enough dried flowers to cover up that terrible wallpaper. If my rich uncle visits, he won't understand your complete allergy to seafood. Um, quite. I think what Saul is saying is that we should attempt to destroy it. Something is happening to his mind, Ken. I think he's put too long in the mood filter. And just how do you propose that we do that? This new deodorant increases sweat dispersion by up to 50%. It's been tested thoroughly on fish with more than satisfactory results. A missile, Ken? We have to prepare a missile which can strike at the very heart of Paul's scheme. Okay, a missile. What exactly do I need to do this time? I need some explosive toxic substance, a detonator, and something to make a long tube out of. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Exactly what will that achieve, blowing up that pollution device? It will let the rest of the world see what has been going on beneath that pall of soot that has hung over the city for so long. It will also remind the people what the sun looks like and the beneficial properties it possesses. Hey, we're gonna see the sun, right? Just in time for Paul's mighty meeting up at the stadium. So what's up with Saul's gourd? I think his faculties are decaying very rapidly now he has left the mood filter. So our savior is destined to be a drooling vegetable? That's about the size of it, Ken. We will have to make do with the resources we have. We've come too far to turn back now. Back we go. Good luck, Ken.